This haircut is long layers. My client wants to keep the length. Make sure you wet the client's hair. Cut the zero degree. So I brought everything from the sides, sticking it to the head so I get every itty bitty hair that is inside. And we're going to do the cut. Here's my guideline. Bringing everything down to the guideline. Holding it, that's my guideline. And I'm going to cut. Bringing the side hair and whatever's left, holding it and cutting it. From this side, bringing everything to the back, holding and cutting. The entire back is done. Establish the guideline on the top, bring it up, straight up from the head, and then I'm going to cut. My client won't value. I would establish a bigger guideline on the entire top. So I'm going to take a little more and a little more, bring it to my guide and cut. Widen your guideline on the top. You can see my guideline right there, so I'm going to cut to my guideline. Combined with my guideline, and I'm going to cut this part. I will cut this section going forward only because if I elevate it, I might not cut this evenly because of the hairline. So I'm going to leave this and I'm going to layer it going forward. So I will continue. If I cannot find my guideline, but it's here, I could take a bigger section. And there it is. Here's my guideline and I'll cut. I'm going to check the entire front section, bring everything together and see if everything's even. I have this entire thing serving me as a guide so I would not lose it. I'm going to take sections going down but I do not go further than this line. I need this for a substance in the bottom. And how do you determine how much further to go down? Everybody's head is changing direction because head is like a ball. Right here, her head is changing direction. And I'm going to leave this. This has been cut already. And then I'll combine the top with the bottom later. Elevate the hair. I have guideline number one and guideline number two. I will bring my fingers to guideline on the top and guideline on the bottom and cut the triangle that is left. That ensures the layering of the hair. I'm going to divide my guideline from diagonal going all the way down. Notice that I'm leaving the perimeter. I left the perimeter in the front, I left the perimeter on the side, and I'm leaving the perimeter on the back because I have cut this already. If I lift this up right here, that would be a big mistake and this part would be much shorter than the entire haircut. So leave this you have already cut it. I'm going to comb the hair up and here's my old guideline here's my old guideline from the bottom from the zero and here's my top guideline I combine them together and I remove the triangle that was left that is how I blend. I'm going to check my back haircut I'm going to take this entire side section leaving this leaving the bottom which is my substance I'm going to converge everything together all I'm looking for is if there is a balance and there is a balance and there's some little pieces hanging from here to here so I'm going to point cut it to blend them together blend the top to the very bottom that we have left but again I still leave some in the bottom now I'm going to put my finger on the top, move the comb up, press, 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 press until I get the bottom guideline and the top guideline and I'm going to cut it on an angle. And this will ensure the top layering is coming to blend with the bottom layering. Section the hair, leave the sides out, leave some hair down and after doing the 180 I'm going to blend the bottom by going up 
and cutting that edge that is the bulk for this lady it was even okay to leave the hair but if somebody has very thick hair you have to blend this top to the bottom curve 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 until you find this button that and this top and then we're going to cut and we blend my client wants her fringe cut to her eyebrow area I have to determine how to open her section from where so I'm going to put my comb on the top hold it at the area where the hair is starting and see where it is lifting that lifting point is where her head is changing from this to this so that is the area where I'm going to open her fringe so I'm just gonna open for her fringe and I do a circular fringe opening I open my fringe from the top of the eyebrow to the top of the eyebrow she wants a circular fringe so I'm gonna bring it down this is the area she wants cut but I have to go further down because when the hair dries it is going to shrink so I'll bring them together and then it goes down and it's circled now when it dries it is going to go up like this. I'm going to start my front layer and going this way because I want to leave this in the bottom as a substance. I will bring the hair forward, find my initial guide and once it drops I will layer the hair by slight cutting. And slight cut from the top. Here's my layering then I'll bring the hair all the way down, curve it, and see if there's anything I need to cut. There's a little, very little piece, and then I will cut. Bring big sections together and check for balance. If you have little pieces, you can cut. We're going to check the pack, comb everything together, bring it up. There's a little piece that I'm going to cut, and the haircut is complete. As you can see, we got layer in the back, which is nicely matched. We got the layers on the side, and we got the layers in the front.